everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make some uh, octopus stew. It's one of my family's favorite. We don't make it as often because sometimes we cannot find the octopus, but it is a special um, meal for our family. So I'm going to show you how I make my own. Um, everybody makes it different, has their own special ways of doing it and I'm going to show you how I do mine. I'm going to start first by showing you a whole octopus and how to cut it. Uh, some people I know I've talked about octopus and I says, oh, you got to remove the eyes and the belly button and it goes, what eyes? So they don't even know that the octopus has eyes, so they cut it, the whole thing. So this is the head and these are the two eyes. I don't know if you can see it. These are the eyes from the octopus. And these all these little arms and so I'm gonna show you how I cut mine. So let me move my camera down so you can see it, okay? So I'm gonna start first by cutting the head off. I cut the head. And there is like a little thing in here. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is the belly button, but I remove this. So when you take the head, you should have this like this. So I'm gonna cut it. And when you cut it, you can cut it um, semi-frozen. It makes it easy to, to cut it. When it's like this, it's kind of hard. And don't cut it into small pieces. I cut it like, you know, pieces big like this. Um, they seem a little big, but don't worry because they're gonna shrink. Um, they're gonna shrink a lot. So I'm gonna show you. I cut it into all little pieces and I try to make it um, as easy as possible to cut. But like I said, if it's um, frozen, it's easy. Another way you can do to, to cut it is I've, um, you put it in a pot with hot water. And when the water is hot, you just put the octopus for a second in there. Put it in there. And what it does is it's going to shrink and it's going to firm the the these lakes and it makes it easy because I know sometimes it's kind of, especially if you're not used to doing it, it's kind of hard to um, um, cut up for the first time. So in here I have um, two large octopus and then a small one. Okay, so now I do not take the black stuff. Some people say, oh, I skin it. No, nope, I leave it. I just cut it in half and cut it in big chunks. This is almost like the calamari part. Um, so I just cut it in big chunks because like I said, you can um, sometimes, you know, uh, I know people that just threw this away, but it's kind of a waste. So I open in the middle and I don't know if you see it. These are the eyes. So I just go with a knife and pull them out. They usually come out easy. Boom. Just cut that piece out and I throw that in. And this one looks like I already took it out. Make sure there's nothing. And here's part of that belly button. So anyway, and these are two, the two eyes and there's like a little piece, like a part of the belly that you um you can take it out so anyway so that's the process for cutting octopus now let me show you what my ingredients are i have my octopus and you can see it seems like a lot but then when you go cook it, it's hardly anything. Um, so I have 
my bacon fat, uh, a whole onion, a cup and a half of um, red wine. I have um, about half a cup of um, black uh, pepper, um, melagueta, or the pepper sauce, Portuguese pepper sauce. And I have two tablespoons of um, garlic. Um, I think it was about, depending on the size of the, the cloves, um, there's about eight cloves of garlics in there. So I'm gonna start by putting my uh, ba bacon fat and then put about, I'd say, two tablespoons of um, oh, uh, olive oil. And I'm gonna put pot is too hot. So I'm going to put my onion and kind of saute my onion till it's translucent. Okay, I put my uh, onion and I'm sauteing my onion until it's translucent. And now I'm going to put my garlic. You don't want to put your garlic at the beginning with the pepper uh, with the onion because um, you don't want it to burn. So let this cook a little bit. Oh, that garlic smells so good. So we usually have this. Um, we always make this around Christmas time, uh, holidays. Um, that was one of the things that my family here, Nazors, we added quite often. So now I'm adding the pepper, and this is my pepper, the pepper sauce or the melagetti you can buy. I've been, I make a, got a mixture of mine and the one from the store because the one the store has a little bit spice and for this you got to have a little spice. So let this do its thing and now I'm going to put all this octopus in there and like I said don't be alarmed thinking, oh my gosh, there's so much octopus. It's going to shrink. And do not put salt in this when you're cooking. Not until the end. Because um, on the octopus, they inject salted water to, I don't know if it's the preserver, to kind of um, make it to weigh more, look bigger. But don't... I know I've done the mistake and I couldn't understand. I only put a little bit of salt. Why is it so salty? It's because the octopus is salty. So, do that. And now we let this come to a simmer. Mix it all, that pepper and that onion in there. I mean, this is makes uh, a good amount for, for a family. And, um, and like I said, this is a specialty dish. It's all my kids, they love this. When I make octopus, it's like a special, special occasion because they all love it. And this is my cup and a half of wine. I'm going to put that too now and I'm going to mix all this and I'm not going to put a lot of water because um, there's going to be a lot of water rendering from the octopus so I might put a cup and a half and that's it so just a cup and a half and um, I'm going to let this come to, to a simmer and it's going to cook. It might take about, I'd say 35 minutes for the octopus to cook and then um, we'll add our potatoes and the rest of the stuff. Let me grab my phone and show you what I have it here. All that beautiful octopus. So now I'll put my lid on, on top, covered good, and, uh, and I'll uh, wait for 35 minutes and uh, we'll 
do our potatoes. I'm back to the next step for our octopus. So our octopus has been cooking. I checked at 35 minutes. Uh, this is an old, old goat here. Um, it was still tough. I went with the knife that pierced. It was still a little, a little hard. So I left another 10 minutes. So it's been total about 50 minutes um, cooking. And I wanna show you how much liquid there is right now. Let's see it this way. You see it? That's all the liquid. It came from the, the octopus. It was nothing, we didn't add very much water, but all that came from the octopus. So all that water. Okay. All right, so now let's go to the next step. So in here I have potatoes that I peeled and cut it. I don't like a too, too small um, cuts. I don't have a specific way to, to cut it. Um, I like it a little bit more chunky. So um, I have about 10 pounds of potatoes here. Uh, I use, I like to use the gold potatoes um, or the red skins, the new potatoes, because um, they don't um, disappear on the, if you use any of those um, other potatoes, it will, uh, uh, um, it will disappear. So by using the gold and the red potatoes, I seem to be firmer, so they stay, they stay longer. So I'm not adding any more water, so I'm just gonna add all these potatoes into this over here. Let's see if I can do this. Ah, one of them disappeared. And like I said, it might seem like, oh, this is one of my favorite for, for all my kids by my family here. So when I make it, I made a big pot. If any of my kids came in right now, I goes, Mom, what's the special occasion? I'm making uh, octopus stew, and then I have rice pudding right there. Because usually it's like a special occasion. And it's not that we don't make it. Us. We can, it's just we eat the rice pudding. I can make it quite often, but we just eat the whole thing. and. I'm always stuck finishing the rest. So now I stir, stir all this good. And uh, I'm gonna add some chopped parsley. One thing I wanted to say, usually most of the times we find these, the octopus is on the Mexican markets. Um, us here in California, we don't have probably as, um, as easy access to octopus as some other people live in the other side of the world, but um, usually Mexican markets, they have it. Uh, I'm gonna chop some parsley. Um, I usually have, I have parsley growing on my uh, garden, but if I don't, I buy big bundles of garlic and I come home, I wash it, and then I put it in a paper towel, I wrap it, and put it in a paper towel, and I put it inside of a Ziploc bag. But when I put it inside the Ziploc bag, this is the, the bundle, I'm gonna put it in here, and this can last me for at least two, three weeks. So I wrap it, the bag is open, let me show you. The bag is open, so I put my parsley, and I'm going to take all that air out and then I zip it. And by doing that, take all the air out and the parsley stays nice and fresh. So I've had this here for maybe about a week already. See how nice and fresh still is? Just a tip. Tip to kind of if you and these uh, hard times, sometimes we don't have time, um, as much time to go to the store. So just buy some of the parsley and wash it good. Wrap it in paper towel, put it in a Ziploc bag. Put it in your refrigerator and 
when you need it, you have it. I like a lot of parsley in my octopus. And I like the flat leaf parsley. Um, I think it gives a better flavor. I mean, at least I, I could smell a little bit better flavor of our parsley that we had um, in Azores. The curly one, I don't find. Some people say the other way around, that the curly parsley gives a better flavor. So everybody's different. Anyway, so now I'm going to stir all this. And this is the time right now that I'm going to taste and see how it is um, on salt, if it needs Grab a fork. Um, if it needs more salt. If it needs salt, um, I add to it. If it doesn't, then I leave it. I would say half a teaspoon of salt. That's all I'm putting in this whole pot. You see what I mean? Only half a teaspoon because the, the octopus is so salty. So now, and I'm not putting no more water because this is gonna, let me show you with my other camera. See, has enough liquid. It does not need no more liquid. So um, I'm gonna leave it that way. So I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to let it sit here for, I'd say maybe another 15, 20 minutes and then it's ready to eat. So see you in 15 minutes. And here we have it. My final product of my octopus stew. It's all done. Cooked. Potatoes are nice and tender. And let me show you what I like to do on my plate. And I like to put a little bit of parsley all over the plate. And here you have it. Octopus stew and it can feed a good family and tomorrow they even taste better because uh, all the flavors have blended together so i will leave a recipe so if you want to do it uh, it's an easy meal and uh, well, and it's delicious and I just ask you if you like any of my videos, please go to YouTube to Angela Castro dash um, the Olive Branch and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I really appreciate it and um, comment on if you like and if there's something you would like to see, let me know and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.